can sing a power ballad quite like our first guest. He's given us songs like When a Man Loves a Woman. Yeah. And How Am I Supposed to Live Without You. Yeah. Yes. So he's got a new album coming out called Spark of Light. Give it up for Michael Bolton. Yeah. I was just talking about seasoned, sexy men, and you fall right in that category. Yeah. Thank you. So, all right, you turned 70 this year, and, and, and does, I wanna know, being 70, does like singing sexy love songs make you look younger? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe they do. I, I think they help, for sure. They think you, okay. Because you're swimming, you're immersing yourself in this specific direction of music, and it feels good. And it feels good? You, you, you say yes. Because I feel like, I feel like every, every slow, sexy song you sing, you just, you just, you age backwards. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> I like to think so. Music does that to you, it doesn't it? Yeah, music does do it yeah. to you. And it's like, you know, you're, it's so funny because you have six grandkids. Mm -hmm. So your grandkids, are they, how surprised are I'm, they? I'm only 14, so that's... He said he's only 14, okay? <laughs> but are they surprised that you're famous? They are. They continue to be on um, the strangest times, like they'll be out shopping, and there's a birthday card I did a few years ago. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of successful. Uh -huh. And they were gathered around this one where one of my grandkids um, recognized me and the card and said, g is so famous now. <laughs> what is he doing? How is he doing it? <laughs> She's like 11 years old. Oh, yeah. yeah? And so they still are surprised when they see you. Still surprised. Oh, my gosh. You know, I was surprised, because I, I must have been the only one that didn't get this. You played the wolf on The Mass Singer. Mm -hmm. You were the wolf on The Mass Singer. Mm -hmm. And... Watching you, I love watching you, but what made you say yes to the show? So I, I thought the show was mostly attractive to me because if you listen to, I mean, you spend a few times, a few night times watching, um, it's great music, like really yeah. great choices. Some people can't sing at all. And... <laughs> Am I in a sensitive area right now? No. <laughs> I'll tell you why they're laughing. But you, I, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because I play, I was the penguin on The Masked Singer. Oh, okay. And so, like, this is me right here, Michael, as the penguin. And I have to tell you, when you go, some people can sing, not only could I not sing, I almost fell off the stage. Oh. Like, literally. <laughs> But you, when you were on there singing, you can, you can sing. I thought, it was, I thought I was supposed to be able to karaoke, but you got to sing on the show. Mm -hmm. So when they, like, they knew your voice. I remember Robin Thicke was like, there's got to be Michael Bolton. Mm -hmm. Did you think you were going to be able to fool them? Not at all. <laughs> um, I've been on... I did another character on the show. Yeah. It's fun. It's just, um, you gotta be singing, you have to, have to have chosen the right songs to really enjoy the whole trip and the whole experience of it. Oh, it was my song choice. That's so, what it was. I'm, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna blame it on your song choice. Yeah. It was my song choice. Which is, choice. you know, it's a common, common error. Oh, when you sing. <laughs> See, that's, I knew something was wrong when I first belted out that first tune and, and I think it went mute on me the whole time <laughs> when I was a mad singer. There's but you, they got you, and, and just and, and being on the show, like, did you have a good time when you're on The Masked Singer? It's, it's fun. fun. It's fun. It's so and much. The costumes fun. are like amazing. Yes. Now I gotta ask you, you 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 speak very softly. Do you do that because you're trying to? Do you have to preserve your? What voice? are you talking about? <laughs> I 
couldn't wait to do that. You can, you've been waiting all day to do that. I've been waiting oh all day. Oh my gosh. But I only gave you half volume. Oh gosh, it was, but it was like a full scream. I was just gonna ask you, because you talk softly, like, when was the last time you screamed at somebody? Two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm pretty quiet. I'm pretty calm most of the time. Yeah, you're pretty calm most of the time? If I'm gonna have a reason to scream, I kind of take it down. Oh, you get calm. I get calm, which oh, okay. scares people sometimes. I get quiet. You get that, like, Clint Eastwood calm. Mm. It's not really calm. See, right now, right now I'm scared, right now. No, you're not scared. <laughs> You're never scared of me. No, I mean, I, 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 I'm such, no, because I'm such a big fan of yours and I'm so excited for your new album, which is called Spark of Light. Mm -hmm. Now this. Yeah. So Spark of Light, this is the first time in 14 years that you've written all uh, original songs. What inspired that? Well, I was doing what I normally do after an album, I start you know, winding down from promotion and touring and get ready for the next one. Yeah. And I've been doing that for like 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of years. <laughs> did I say that? Yeah, you I did? did. I did. It's impossible. It's, we like to think of ourselves as eternally young. Mm -hmm. But the thing about the music, uh, and back to what uh, motivated me was, I was just doing what I do, which is automatically go back to work on some ideas that I had on the road, some titles I wrote yeah. at a lunch or at a restaurant or something. Um, and uh, something happened, COVID, okay. COVID happened. And I was just near the end of a tour on the West Coast um, and nobody had any idea how frightening it was gonna be, right. and how much it was gonna potentially change our lives. Yeah. But the odd thing, the curious thing, ironic thing, is that COVID inspired me to dive further into my work. Music. And what we need is like, music is such a healing, powerful, positive thing. Yes, it is. And I found when I was playing the songs for people, post COVID, um, they really appreciated it. Yes. It was good news. And so quite a few of the songs on this album have moments of that spark of light that you can't miss. I'm so excited. So, um, um, I mean, not just because it's, it's a record that I love and yeah. I'm spending years on, but it's a really great feel good, inspiring album. You know, uh, I, and I'm so glad you came today because we need feel good, we need joy. Mm -hmm.